Yesterday at the meeting of the European Society of Cardiology, the paradigm study was presented. At the same time, the results of the study were published in the New England Journal of Medicine online. This study um, represents a cornerstone in the new treatment of heart failure. Patients with moderate to severe heart failure were included in this randomized study. These patients were either treated with a new compound, an angiotensin receptor antagonist combined with a blocker of neprilysin. Neprilysin is responsible for the degradation of different vasoactive substances such as uh, brain natriuretic peptide, substance P, and others. This substance was compared to the established therapy for heart failure uh, with enalapril. Enalapril in previous studies has been shown to reduce cardiovascular events by 20%. In this study, Eight, more than 8,000 uh, patients were randomized either to the new compound uh, LZZ696, which, as I mentioned, consists of a blocker of the angiotensin receptor, such as uh, valsartan and the inhibitor of neprilysin. The patients were treated um, previously um, to test whether they support the treatment with uh, enalapril two times 10 milligrams daily or the new compound 200 milligrams two times daily. There were quite severe heart failure patients with an ejection fraction below 30% in average. The blood pressure was around 120 over 70, the heart rate 72 per minute. The patients were either hospitalized for heart failure in the previous 12 months or had an increased uh, NT pro BNP level. The study, uh, the primary endpoint of the study was cardiovascular mortality and combined with hospitalization for heart failure. The study was stopped early after 27 months due to uh, superiority of the new compound LZZ696. Cardiovascular mortality and heart failure hospitalization was reduced by 20% highly significantly. Looking at the different components of the primary endpoint, there was an absolute risk reduction of about 3% for cardiovascular mortality and about 3% for heart failure hospitalization. In addition, overall mortality was also reduced by about 16% uh, relatively and absolutely by around 3%. This shows that there is a dramatic reduction uh, compared to the established therapy of enalapril by the new compound. I think in the future, this um, new therapeutic strategy will change our uh, management in patients with chronic heart failure. There will be other studies um, looking at the effect of this new compound in different populations of heart failure patients, such as patients with uh, preserved ejection fraction. The future trials will show whether this compound really um, is a cornerstone of uh, all patients with chronic heart failure. It would be also interesting to look at patients after myocardial infarction. ACE inhibitors have clearly been shown to uh, improve survival in these patients, and this compound should also be tested early after myocardial infarction to um, improve remodeling of the left ventricle. 
in summary, I think this uh, study really shows uh, clear benefit of a new uh, therapeutic um, concept in heart failure, combining an angiotensin receptor antagonist with an uh, inhibitor of neprilysin. Interestingly also, the side effects um, of the new compound was not uh, higher than uh, in enalapril treated patients, except for some uh, hypotensive uh, symptoms, which did not lead to a stop of treatment. Therefore, um, this new compound LZZ696 is really promising, uh, seems to be safe and improves morbidity and mortality in patients with chronic heart failure.